Force Points DSPM has the ability to go in and do scans of ChatGPT Enterprise. So we have a new uh, data source down towards the bottom there called ChatGPT. And uh, using an API connection, we have the ability to do both uh, trustee scans regarding the, uh, the users uh, and administrators within it, as well as uh, data scans. And if I click on the edit here, you'll see that we actually have the ability to uh, set the geographic regions as well as the data owner. Um, you can specify different paths within the uh, chat GPT as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, chat GPT enterprise, right? Chat GPT enterprise. enterprise. Yes, right. correct. So I'm going to back at the enterprise search here and I'm uh, narrowing it down to chat GPT. You'll see that we have um, documents here that have been uploaded uh, that have been flagged as confidential. Uh, they're also matching on different types of uh, compliance standards as well. Um, I'm actually going to go in and, and search for myself here. So users. So this is uh, data that, that I've actually been querying in um, ChatGPT. So you'll see this is uh, actually some uh, credit card data that was uh, matched as, as confidential. Uh, I've also got uh, some... <laughs> I've been using ChatGPT to create sample data for uh, DLP testing. So in this particular one, um, we have uh, ABI route, ABA routing information, social security numbers, credit card numbers, uh, with a uh, basically 100% match on PII. So you'll see that we have uh, both um, files that have been uploaded, as well as uh, these are actually uh, data and, and information within uh, general chat sessions. So we have the ability right now to report on all of that. We can uh, do things like uh, send this to the classification pipeline uh, for training. Uh, we can view the, uh, the access rights of it. And then uh, we also have that ability to uh, view the audit log regarding the uh, different types of uh, classification engines and scanning engines that were applied to it. So as far as I know, this is the only platform uh, currently available that has the ability to go in and, and do direct scans of enterprise chat GPT on the back end. It's great. And we look at the, uh, the actual dashboard here. So this uh, I've had this up previously, but this is basically a kind of a graphical representation of what we're showing in the enterprise search. Uh, we've got, you know, the active users, I can drill down into the uh, different administrators and then uh, it breaks okay. it down. This is different than what, before you were showing the preventative aspect of just um, LLMs in general. This is specifically what um, post usage of correct. Chat. Yep. Yeah. Right. So we had we have the Gen AI readiness, which you would want to run before you do any sort of a bulk ingest into LLMs, and this is basically the after. So this was the before snapshot. Hopefully, the after one should have anything in here because you uh, you cleaned it all up through remediation sure. with the. Uh, the AI readiness, but this is uh, the, the data that we found within this uh, particular chat GPT um, enterprise instance uh, that matched whatever uh, uh, compliance in this particular one we were looking at some, we've got some social security numbers, credit card information, uh, banking information as well. Uh, so this, this, as far as I know, is the only um, tool available that's gonna give you that sort of visibility into uh, what data is is currently um, sitting in your enterprise GPTs. Okay. Now, is there any way then to remediate once you've seen all of this, you're able to see what happened? So yeah. currently the, the ability to do remediation, whether it's uh, applying tags or moving or deleting files is, is based upon the API itself, whether the API supports it. Um, so yeah, we, our developers are working right now with ChatGPT on the back end and uh, have a working model of the ability to actually go out and uh, remediate and remove content from an existing chat GPT. So where we had shown on the enterprise search, the ability to go in and, and uh, drill down into those specific files uh, that we had scanned within chat GPT, um, as, assuming the API works as expected, uh, in the future, we'd be able to go in and actually uh, remove that content from the enterprise GPT. So it would be no longer available. Uh, it'd be out of the history. Searches. It'd be out of their history um, in the enterprise. Okay. Yep. What are you able to see about these? Like if you click into one of the, the files, 
What, so what? this this would just be a UNC. So um, one thing to note is that we're only collecting uh, basically, you know, metadata about the specific files itself. Now, if this was a uh, SharePoint or an SMB, and assuming I am logged on as the, uh, the the proper user, I can actually click on this and see the source code. But regarding Forcepoint DSPM, the information that we're collecting uh, is just the the metadata. So we are not um, actually storing any of the content, any of these files. We're doing the uh, the scanning. We're we're calculating all of the uh, different types of categorization associated with it, and then providing with the ability to go in and look at the specific details, including uh, the path to where that file lives. But this is pretty much the extent of what we would collect um, on a uh, specific file. So basically, the file details tied in with the uh, permissions that we would get from, in this particular case, it would be the Azure AD scan. Can you see the user that did this? So we have, yeah, so you have the, uh, down here, you have the created uh, date time last uh, set. You also have departments of data owners last access. These are going to vary uh, based off of um, the, the source. So right now, these are the, and unfortunately, because of, this is a, a lab environment, we don't have the actual usernames, but this would be the, uh, this was the original um, creator yeah. of that. Right. So you would, you would be able to get drilled down. This, this user did this at this time. Correct. And really strong visibility in what's going on with ChatGPT Enterprise. Yep. And, and I can actually drill down into um, that specific user, uh, assuming that there was associated data to find. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so pretty much everything in here is is going to be uh, uh, drill downable, or you know, be able to to click through to uh, to get more information about any of the uh, specific files or actions. Great. Thank you.